Please remember to subscribe, click the bell and enable all notifications. A huge thanks to all my awesome members. To become a Patreon or YouTube member like them or see what it entails, click the links in the description down below. Hey guys and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Darkest Falls mod. It's my first episode of 2021 and I hope you guys are already starting to see a glimmer of hope in this year. Uh, 2021 already gave me the middle finger because I wanted to stream my very first episode of the series and I just couldn't install the mod. I really struggled for like 2 hours. And then I had to cancel the stream because the power went out to boot. And then when the power finally came on, it was it failed one more time and then it installed. And now finally, voila, I'm here. Okay, so this time around, we're going for a number one map instead of number two. I wanted to go for a large map, but I tried it just now and it was a little bit laggy. Especially number one maps, guys. Because it has, it has all the new pure eyes. Combat pack 46. Um, the number two map doesn't have any special pure eyes or new pure eyes. Well, it does have Darkest Falls pure eyes, but not combo pack pure eyes. It just, it runs way better on lower RAM. So if you're struggling with RAM issues, choose a number two map. But for me, I'm going to go for number one map because it's new buildings. I'm going to go for very small this time. Now, I wanted to go for the large map because I wanted more towns in the wasteland. But yeah, let's just try the very small map. Hopefully the lag is also a little bit better because it's so small. Now, zombies last time, 200 zombies alive, but we were just killing zombies all the time, not getting anything done. So now it's 100 zombies. Animals, 80, zombie, uh, 80 animals alive. Now it's only 40 animals alive. So we're halving basically the zombies and animals. That should help with lag. And it's going to make it a little bit more difficult getting meat. We're going to play insane difficulty. And instead of 60 minute days, 30 minute days. Now I wanted to do random horde nights and stuff guys. But just the pacing with my episodes would be really, really off. Uh, because then I'd actually have to record 30 minutes. Not cut anything out and just upload like that. Now I want to do... One episode a day from now on a little bit because I'm gonna I might just be getting myself a new job and then it's gonna be too hectic to upload two a day. And if I have time, I'll see in my spare time if I can't record another mod or something as well, and just upload that periodically, like pre-recorded series or whatever. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So it's insane difficulty instead of warrior. For those who don't know, it's warrior number five. Six is survivalist, and seven, the most difficult is insanity. So we're going for insanity. Uh, day length 18, Blood Moon Frequency 7 days. I wanted to do this random, guys, but I'm I'm deciding, you know what? It's going to be like every 3 or 4 episodes that's going to be a horde. So that's still a lot. Uh, Blood Moon Range 0, so that's every 7 days. Uh, Blood Moon Warning in the morning. Although, every 7 days, we can just as well put that on the evening because we'll know it's the 7th day. Or rather, I hope I'll know. Day Speed Walk, Night Speed Jog, so we can actually just go looting at night as well. Speed however run and Blood Moon Nightmare. Now on 60 minute days we had our last series on 64 zombies guys but it was just way too much lag. So this time around I wanted to go for the 32 zombie options but that's on 60 minute days so now I'm halving that again. Now we shouldn't get any lag during World Nights I hope. I really really hope we don't get any lag. So it's 16 waves any uh, this time and then player block damage 125. I want to be able to do a little bit more damage than zombies. They're decaying flesh I'm a guy with a steel or titanium pick. I should do more damage. But yeah, uh, these settings are just to start to spice it up a bit, guys. Because I've been feeling... This is my 11th of 19 series and my 4th Darkest Fall series. And we've had the settings on the same for all of them. So now it's just, they're just a little bit spicing it up. 30 minute days as well means the hordes will only be 7.5 hours long. Also, <laughs> 7 and a half hours. 7.5 uh, minutes long. But uh, we might just, if we see this is too easy, like every seven days, we can put it to every five days or every three days or just get the wards a little bit closer. It's especially with 16 enemies, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, they're repairing all the damage and stuff. 64 zombies, guys, the damage is always so insane. You spend a whole day just repairing. Uh, obviously now as well, the loot will be a little bit less because you're not killing as many zombies. So it evens itself out, I feel. But yeah, let's try this now. I'm really curious to see how this series is going to go. I really hope it's going to work out well. It's a shame that we couldn't stream this first few episodes or first few hours of the series. But yeah, uh, let's see how this goes and hopefully we have some fun. I just hope the lag is okay and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, series even though the settings aren't hardcore as usual. Usually I go balls to the wall, but I mean, this is already Darkest Falls. Alpha 19 with the uh, game stage system is already the more difficult. And now Darkest Falls adds to that as well. Also guys, I thought, oh no, you only get one class book over here. Why is it only one? But if you open your backpack, and you wear your backpack, all of a sudden you have two books. So we're going to go for our scavenger class. Because that actually gives you the double quest rewards from traders. 
And I'm going to go for the builder class because that actually, I think that's the one with the class quest where you have to craft blocks and make a base. And we need a base really early on. Now, the next one I'm going to get security to be able to tell time. And the one directly after that, we have to go for farmer. Uh, last time I waited until the end of the series and then we didn't even use the farm. I really, really want to use the farm. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'd be able to set a few zombies alight. The trader is not too far away. Nice. So you guys, look at all these buildings. This wasn't a Darkest Falls in the last series, I think. As far as I'm aware. Okay, let's just go. I need to make sure we pick up as many bones and stuff as possible as well. So let's just get some grass. We can eat one or two stones. And there should also be some wood in the area. About wood, I don't, I don't mean trees and stuff. I actually mean like small... Yeah, this over here. Dried bushes. That should give you enough to make yourself at least one stone axe. And with a stone axe, you can actually make it or get yourself some bone from these gore blocks over here. Uh, just look at that spawn over there. A random hill in the middle of nowhere. I really wish it was, it was possible to say you want a flat map. I really think a flat map would be way more awesome. Oh, wait, what? Was this thing an outpost from the start? I didn't even realize. So this pure eye might actually be a nice pla uh, place to take over as a base, but it's just a little bit big for the beginning of the game. So hopefully as we get strong, we might actually come loot this and come build over here. Let's stay on the road. Just in case we come across like a mountain lion or something. In the first attempt at this, I actually got three mountain lions because I had to run through the snow over here to get to the trader. So hopefully this time around, I don't have as bad luck because I had to run so far around them. Yeah, let's just hope we get to the straighter fast. I also need to get myself some bones really, really quickly. So that means we need just one more of this. And we need one tree. So we can actually just get ourselves some frames. If something attacks us right now, guys, you need to have those frames. Stack up on the frames and you should be safe. And also, since we're using the builder class, uh, we do need to gather ourselves a ton of resources and stuff over here. So yeah. Come on. I'm really worried about zombies popping up right now. Also, guys, um, episode 1, 2, and 3 is recorded at my aunt and uncle's house, or is going to be recorded. From episode 4 onwards, I should be back home, and then you don't hear the echo in the background, you don't hear small dogs fighting and barking and going crazy, and you shouldn't hear the parrot in the background as well. I can't wait to be back home. Okay, so the trade is off that direction. Hopefully we go in a circular fashion. Ooh... Ooh, that view eye over there. For the ones of you, uh, for those of you that don't see that, that's a library over there. Uh, when I tried that in the Apocalypse Now mod, the Wandering Hordes kicked my ass. Like, it was so, so difficult um, looting that place because of all the zombies, the runners, all that stuff just being in there. It was, it was really an insane experience. But I think that might actually make it a really awesome horde base if you can manage to take that thing over and fortify it. Because the zombies can come up into the pillars, but as soon as they try that, you can just make sure that the pillars are booby trapped and stuff. But since these are the new, or not new, uh, they're Combo Pack 46. What I did in my Nitrogen World and Apocalypse Now um, model gameplay, it's that Combo Pack that's now in Darkest Falls. Um, uh, I can't remember exactly which Combo Pack. I think it was Combo Pack 44? 43? Was, it was a very old Combo Pack that was in Darkest Falls. And now for version 3.3, Kynes made sure it was updated, so that's awesome. Guys, I'm just kicking myself. Kynes actually sent me a list of all the changes in Alpha 19 or in version 3.3. And I seem to have misplaced it. I could have sworn I had it on my desktop. And now when I checked, the PowerPoint thing was gone. So I don't know if I accidentally deleted it with other stuff. But it actually detailed all the changes, all the stuff that you need to look out for. And I'm so mad I didn't save that properly. Okay, now, I also wonder if in this series there are going to be more spiders and stuff. In version 3.2, we almost had no spiders at all. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, now, where's that bone? There you go. I should have actually attacked it with a knife because then it would have bled out at least. Oh, no, 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 no. Jump away. I don't want to get attacked by that thing right now. I can't afford it. It might just give me a honey. But I, uh, I'm not powerful enough or don't have the weapons for that thing right now. Also, just going to skip a few zombies. I don't want to run out of stamina and that bee is going to attack me as soon as I do. I need to make myself a bone arrow as soon as possible. I'm always... Ooh, I'm always skipping the, uh, the obvious stuff that I need to do in the beginning. Like gathering bones and stuff like that for the arrows. 
me just check how many stone 27 so i might actually be able to make myself quite a few bone arrow or arrows right now for the bone arrow okay we need to pick up all the fruits and stuff we come across as well fruits vegetables everything and loot all the birds nests at least and there's actually rainy weather and uh, stuff over here so it's actually really nice weather yeah um, and I just hope that the storm doesn't get too bad and the power goes back off. The power earlier went off uh, before the stream because of the scheduled power outage. And yeah, if the if the weather gets too bad and the power goes, guys, then the internet, all that stuff goes as well. I do have a backup power supply, but it only lasts for... How long again? I think it lasts for like 10 minutes. It should last for 30, but with my PC and everything, the amount of power that it draws, it lasts very, very little or very, very short. Okay, where am I going? Was I going in the right direction just now? It felt like I was going in a loop. Like a massive U-turn that I was taking. But I really wanted to try the random horde lights, guys. But it just... The pacing would be really off. Because I'd need to just record 30 minutes, say bye-bye, and that's it. Then I can't pause, unpause, anything like that. Because the timing would be thrown off. And one episode might just end during the horde light. And that, that actually sucked. That looks bad. So with 30 even a days, um, and then also Horde Nights every 7 days, on the 7th day I can just see, okay, do I need to do a little bit of grinding off camera and then have you guys back? How am I going to play this? Okay, I need to make sure we get as much of this vegetables as possible, especially the carrots, because if we can get lucky with uh, steak and eggs, I think, or steak and potato again. Oh, there's a farmer bear. Now if we can get lucky with the steak and pot uh, potato recipe, um, the carrots will definitely come in handy that in there landmines Ooh, there's landmines in between the crops that's messed up fire effers i'm guessing that's a k missing over there okay now where Ooh, a massive pure eye in this one as well i wonder the, how many zombies are going to spawn in that thing what kind of darkest full zombies imagine going into that massive building at the back over there guys you can actually see it through the trees it's insanely insanely huge imagine going into that place on game stage like 500 or something Okay, just to be careful now. Help us. Okay, now, what are you firing at? So the only problem with these traders is the fact that they shoot at zombies very far away. And then sometimes they miss really, really badly. But they don't care. They just keep firing and firing and firing. Not doing any damage at all. Okay, so, oh, I need to kill that thing. Hello, dear, oh, dear. Oh, there's two. Okay, so if I can quickly make sure... Let's make a primitive bow. And... I think I need sticks and sharp rocks. It might 10 of this one. 10 of this one. Now the one dog's crawling in between my legs over here. Just feel the hair against my legs. They're very, very fluffy small dogs, but they're also very, very naughty small dogs. Okay, stone arrows, not cloth. Thank you, feathers. Oh, it saw me. And this one over here? They didn't see me. I just want to see exactly how much damage I do to them. Do they run away? What happens? This one looks like it saw me, but I think it's running away from the zombies mostly. How much did that just drop? I can't really tell where it's dropping to, where it's landing. Okay, now I have no idea how much HP has left. Do I just need to do one more shot, bleed him out? What's going to happen? It's a shame you can't see the HP bars from so far away. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, are you kidding me? Just as I shot, you fell down and you went the other way around. I think the, the trader guards of Yo are actually trying to shoot at the zombie spawning inside over there. So we need to be really, really careful that we don't stir up too many zombies as well because then the gunfire is going to be immense. At least it's this trader. This is a little bit more defendable in the beginning. I'm going to take over this place and then as soon as I can, I want to make myself my own base uh, close by so that the guards can help protect a little bit. I'll show you guys exactly what I intend to do. I want to make sure that they can actually help me out as well. But I need to see if I can't get myself an iron knife before nightfall at least. Or before day 3 or 4. Because it attacks way faster than my current bow knife. And that's what we need. Speed. Especially at night when the zombies start going a little bit faster. We need speed. Come on. Don't tell me all the workbenches are broken. I, it's a shame that I didn't have more... Oh yeah, there you go. More clay soil in it. We need a lot of clay soil for the builder's class. That's just clothing that we need to break. I almost forgot in Darkest Fools you need to break chairs, not pick them up. 
I've been playing, uh, I've mass played the uh, Where's UK mod to get it done, the series. And I'm so used to being able to pick stuff up now. That's why you should only play one mod at a time. But hopefully doing only one video a day will also help a little bit. Apparently these traders don't really share. Well, they might share inventories, but they don't share quests. Something like that. No, they don't share inventories, but the quest goes the same. Okay. So if you do a quest for one of them, you hand them in. It's just for that one uh, guard captain. Or both of them share that quest. So you can't get a quest from him and him. But the inventories do differ. Okay, if I can just kill that damn stag over there. I'm not seeing where the arrow is dropping. That's my big problem at the moment. I think he only has like one shot left. I don't want to waste all my arrows, but I do need the meat. I just hope he doesn't see me before I run out of arrows. Come on. I know it's dropping, but I don't know how severely. Are you the same one as earlier? How much HP? Oh, you're almost down. See, this is insanity difficulty. Um, even they have more HP, so you need to be careful. Only nine shots left. I don't want to run after him and waste the whole episode just chasing him, but we do need the meat he provides. Come on, stand still. It's like he wants to run and then stops, then wants to run and then stops. Oh yes, there you go. Oh wow, there's almost no drop to the arrow as well, I just realized. I shot him almost on top of his body, or aimed at, at his body, and it still hit. I don't know if it hit his leg, or if I actually hit his body and there's no drop to it. Come on, give me all the meat you can. See how slow this bow knife is, guys. That's why, especially for nighttime, we need to find ourselves like an iron knife or something like that. Something way more powerful than the bow knife, or at least way more, way faster. I don't care if it's stronger, it just has to be faster. I want to be able to attack in succession instead of just attack and stop. Attack and stop. Hello, biker. At least already, guys, we have so many more pure eyes, or new pure eyes, compared to our previous series. I mean, we're already going to have more buildings due to the fact that it's a combo pack, and it's not just Darkest Fall buildings. But now that it's combat pack 46, it's even newer buildings than we would have had in the previous series. What's this over here? I should really go talk to the trader and also, let's just put our bedroll down over here. I should really go talk to the trader, but I want to see what kind of pure eye this is. It looks like a track stop or something. Okay, now we have eggs, we have meat. I should actually try and see if I can't kill the cow over here as well. But I'm going to need way more arrows because the cows are really, really tough. They're like the bosses or the... You know how you get zombie bosses and stuff? Well, this is an animal boss. Okay, this is McDonald's. Okay. There's a little bit of lag. I can actually feel it's a little bit more laggy than uh, my previous series. But I don't know if it's just because I cleared my... Temporary files, and then everything has to load from scratch again. There's no cache to work from. Or cache, I don't know if you, how you guys say it. Ooh, that building over there is actually a nice one. That's a nice building to take over. I need a small brick building that I can reinforce. Hello, 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 meat. There you go. You almost moved away, didn't you? I don't like the fact that the HP is always as bugged. In the previous series or two as well, when you hit the animals, I think it's an alpha 19 thing though. When you hit the animals, they don't die instant. Well, they die, but I mean, like, you can't see how far the HP is going down. Okay, so we check the forge, we check these two, we check the carriage station. All of them is broken. The dog will be at the back scratching the chair, and it's my uncle's chair. Oh, I was just hearing scratch, scratch, scratch the whole time. It's a good thing that these um, yes, uh, earphones aren't noise cancelling, otherwise, you would have just. Destroy the couch without me even noticing it. Damn, I just hate the fact that the guards shoot at everything. I really hate the fact that they were nerfed. Instead of nerfing the trade uh, the guards, the horde should have actually just been made way harder. Way tougher. Ooh, scrap armor, thank you. And hunting rifles. And just realized, pumpkin cheesecake. Okay, so we have 40 cash. We need 500 for the one quest. We have arrowheads that we could sell, but only for 7. Can I sell? Can I sell? Let's just see quickly over here what he has for us. Why can't I talk to you? Did I accidentally hit him or something? Sometimes when you accidentally hit him, he doesn't want to talk to you for a while. Damn it. Wait, what? Labor class? Scavenger class? We've already talked to him at least. But we haven't received a uh, reward or anything. Wait, did I talk to him? I can't remember. 
I must have nicked him with the, with the stone axe because he doesn't want to talk to me. Usually when you accidentally nick them, they're, they're really, really pissed at you and they just don't talk to you at all. Okay, we do have skill points to spend in, uh, since we already spoke to him over here. Let's just quickly check over here. Two skill points. Wait, only two. I'm guessing there's another way to get more. I, I could have sworn you have to get four. So I think I still have to talk to him or something. But I could have sworn you, you should, you're able to get four points in the beginning. So there's something I'm missing right now. Okay, so we need to work on... I look quicker crafting, but this time around, I hope it's fixed. I, if I'm not mistaken, no, this was fixed as well. Because as you guys know, the previous series, uh, when you use quicker crafting with all your tools and stuff, it actually went into the negative. So crafting thousands of steel took you like a split second. Uh, armor crafting, gun crafting, tool crafting. I need better tools, I need better weapons. So let's go for tool crafting first. Playable 10 needs to be the next step. And then weapon crafting for the bow and arrow. Which means you should be able to craft these level 2s now. From the bow level 2 and... Where's my axe? Oh, I need stone. Small stone. I keep forgetting about the sharp rock. Okay, stone axe. There you go. Scrap these. And just make sure these go into the right position again. I need to find a way that's nice for me. Where's my... Did I make any frames yet? Or did I not... Oh, I chopped down the tree, but I never picked up... I uh, never made myself a few frames. So if something attacked me, I would have been screwed. You always have to have frames on you. So if a wild animal attacks you, at least you're safe. That could have ended way, way, way worse. Okay, so as long as we get ourselves like a... Oh, cooking pot. There you go. Um, and we put some fuel in there. We should actually be able to make bacon and eggs already. Damn. I thought you needed a recipe for this. Or did I already read the recipe? I'm not complaining though. <laughs> if we can make bacon and eggs, awesome. But I could have sworn it was under cooking or something that we have to unlock that. Okay, I just want to make sure we didn't miss anything else over here. I really want to try and see if we can't strip places when we loot them in the first place. Like any pure eye we loot, we need to make sure we take all the cloth, all the scrap polymers, everything in the beginning. And then later we can start not taking stuff if you don't really want it or uh, whatever. Okay, so guard captain, do you have any jobs for me? Clear zombies. Okay, that's very close. Old ranch. And now look at this. If you go to him and you say job, you already have your job. So that's the same trader. But if you look at the inventories, this one has two cards or six cards altogether. This one only has one stack or just one cost. The stack is gone. So the inventories are different, but they share the quest at least. Now I wonder where I want to build. This is 300, that is. Out of stamina. One, 1,000. This one? That's 1,000. Is the green block as well 1,000, or am I just missing something right now? It's weird that the pillars are weak, but the blocks on top... Oh, that's 300. That makes sense. I wonder if I don't want to destroy the green, then I can get some iron as well, and then just build on this platform for now. Or I build in the house, and just make sure that I block off the house somehow. Which means I'll need to remove the stairs. The only problem is, over here, it's in the middle of... Uh, it's in the open. Zombies will actually try and... Or the guards will actually try and kill the zombies. In the house, when they go inside there, they're going to make too much damage, and then we have a problem in our hands. Okay, so uh, let's just see over here. Labor class, small stone, wood, and clay. We need to gather as much as possible. I wonder if I shouldn't just dig underneath over here. Just dig everything out I can, and then also trees. There's a ton of trees in the area, so I don't have to worry too much. Okay, just turn night time, so the zombies are going to jog now. Time just past 10. So first off, drop chest. We need to be able to move around and be encumbered at the moment. Who I don't think you can actually use, except you can distract zombies with it. Um, for now, let's just hide over here. I think these small dogs are giving me allergies because I keep wanting to sneeze and stuff with them in the house. Just so many small hairs floating about. You're busy eating and all of a sudden you have uh, hair in your mouth that you have to spit out. That's gross. Okay, uh, let's put these away for now. You know what, I'm going to actually grow the trees. The more wood we have, the better. So obviously, we need, to, we need to grow as many as possible. And then, we need to make ourselves a ton of arrows as well. I think before we make any more arrows, we need to make sure we have all the stone and the clay and stuff we need. Otherwise, we're going to keep on uh, wasting the resources we need over here. I'm going to use up all my wood and all my stone, but I need stone for this class quest. Now, if we had some cash, I might have been able to actually go and buy the resources. 
But we don't have any cash at all at the moment. Nothing to sell. Nothing. Oh, that looks so nasty. Human turd. Okay, so let's just we sell. I'll uh, try and plant these over here. It can only be planted on the green, on the clay. This over here is gravel. That's why it actually shows red every now and then. There's nothing else that I missed over here, right? It feels like I missed one of the zombies, one of the loot piles, something over here. Okay, so at least we now have a base where you can hide all the stuff. That's cool. Uh, we have a ton of stuff on us that we don't really need at the moment. Let's just drop that. Stone hammers for upgrading, but we first need wood to be able to do it. See, at the moment for the builder's class, you're gathering resources. Labor class over here. You're gathering resources. After this, it's going to give you a mining helmet. Although I don't think it gives you the light. It gives you the mining helmet and also it gives you a quest to like make make wooden frames out of the wood and stuff like that. Yeah, I need my torch. And I need my frames. See, now this is where the frames come into play. For those of you who haven't used this trick before, it's actually a nice way to tell whether the zombies are coming or not. You just go up to a tree. Come on. Four zombie attacks. You go about three up. You don't have to go any higher than that. And then you cut down some trees. This way... The zombies either have to break down the tree and the frames, or the frames and the tree. They can't get you at all. Obviously, you might want to stack up a little bit higher, because some zombies break the second block, and then they break the third block. But if you're standing on the fourth block, they can't get to you, and then you have the option of either shooting at them from on top, or just jumping over the heads when your stamina is regained. This is a very nice trick to make sure you can actually survive the zombies coming for you while you're chopping down trees. This pure eye looks rather interesting. I really want to go check what's inside. It looks like there might also be something in the roof over there which we could technically use. Okay, I wonder if I shouldn't just first go. Let's put this one on the screen. Because this one over here says 500 coin and I don't know where I'm going to get coin right now. Okay, so we need a little bit more wood. I think two more trees should do the trick. But you don't want to get too far away from the base. You need to be careful as well from the zombies. If I were you, just crouch about and then when you're next to a tree, just quickly jump. Okay, let's quickly take down this tree and one more, and then we should have all the wood we need. But then we need stone and clay. Okay, so we had to chop... Ooh, no, that's radiated. Oh, damn it, that was bad. That was a mistake. At least they jog at night, so I don't have to worry too much. Ooh, okay, yeah, the guards I need to be careful of. See, the, the guards reach to... Yeah, but they don't shoot the zombies right next to them. The zombie could be hitting a guard in the face and the guard misses. But as soon as the zombie is this far out, then all of a sudden it's easy, easy, easy. I almost forgot that I put the zombies to jog, so at least night time. See, now we can actually get stuff done during the night, which we need to be able to do. We already have 600 stone. Uh, we chopped down like four trees. At least the last one was the one with 1.2k HP. But if I can just manage to get all the stone and wood now, and then clay, we should be able to buy from the trader. We just need 500 coins, which means we need to go looting. But I wonder if I should go for the, uh, the McDonald's over there. There should be a ton of cash in the... Cash registers, and then also obviously a ton of loot that we can sell. The moment I thought I saw a light moving around on the wall over there. It's just the texture spawning, and hopefully and not like a special zombie or something. Because I'm just so mad at myself for losing the notes that Kind, uh, kind sent me. Because I want to put all the changes and all that stuff down below in the description. I want to make sure we uh, only have the best uh, knowledge about the mod possible. I should also, I want to go read the patch notes. But since I lost the original patch notes he sent me, I need to go just check where the new patch notes are. Because even like sometimes the mods, uh, they, if you download it manually, aren't as up to date. The info still says there's a civilian class. Scavenger used to be called civilian. Um, so all that stuff on those websites needs to be updated. And at the moment, it's so out of date, it's insane. Okay, so I upgraded from boulders to stone formations and got the rest of the stone. Now, the guys, for those of you starting out this game, if you need stone, don't go for those unless you need iron as well. Um, yeah, because those show you actually what kind of resources underneath the stone as well. So if, if you're new to the map completely, if you break a boulder, it shows you another kind of resource except stone. So you get one stone per head, uh, one stone for one hit, one of the other resources for other hit. So it's every second you need to get stone. If you just want stone, come to these over here. Every hit gives you one stone. It doesn't give you anything else, unfortunately, but at least it gives you stone with every single hit you give. So that's a nice one. I just had to get, hit the stone like 300 times to get 300 stone instead of doing 600 times for just a little bit of stone. So yeah, um, we have all the stone now. We have all the wood now. Unfortunately, we don't have any clay. I need a shovel to get some clay, but if I can just get resources, I might actually be able to buy some from the trader. 
It reminds me, I haven't even accepted a quest from this guy. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to die. In my um, okay, so I'll need to re-log and see if I can't talk to him then, because he still refuses to talk to me now. I just need to make sure, guys, we don't put too many trees over here. I mean, it's a nice source of wood, but during Horde Nights, they can get in your uh, way of your view. So, all of a sudden, you can't see the zombies coming for you just because you have too many trees. Okay, so we just need clay now, but unfortunately, we don't have... We could make a shovel, but I don't know how much dirt I'm going to have to dig up just to get 400 clay. Um, let's put this down so we actually have a safe spot to spawn in. And then, as well, I think we need shops. Don't wait. Shovel. Where's a shovel? Stone shovel, we just need plant fibers. And also we do have bacon and eggs over here. Oh wow. I thought it was going to finish over here, but it didn't. Just put that in. Okay, so at least uh, remember guys, food, water, medical, everything fills up instantly in Darkest Falls. You don't have to wait for it over time. And yeah, now at least we have bacon and eggs crafting. Just make sure we have seeds planted everywhere for now. I still say watch out, you don't play a plant too many, but we do need as many as possible right now. We need that wood. Next episode, I'm actually thinking of going to do that clear quest over there. But first, I want to see if I can't quickly just dig up a little bit of clay over here. Because we do desperately need clay. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. And if you guys haven't done so yet and you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help. See you guys during episode 2.